like this, he always gets mad when I ride indoors. <laughs> and accessories uh, tuned by Lance Merton here at Captain Cycles. Um, it is my opinion the most beautiful, most fun Harley to ride, the, the Dyna. You can see over there uh, on the far end of the shop is my Dyna. I have a 2013 Dyna also set up exactly like this. So um, mine has the mag wheels instead of the spokes. We want to do the spokes on this one. So uh, everybody here loves the way this bike looks. Uh, you won't see another one like it on the road. It's completely custom from the paint job. Uh, to the custom parts that are on it. Uh, I guess I'll start with the front end. It has a brand new <clears throat> uh, Harley Davidson OEM from right from Harley Davidson. It's five hundred five dollars for the rim. Uh, brand new Harley rim and hub. Um, these are the original fork lowers, but it has new fork tubes. One of the fork tubes was bent. Uh, it has a Dyna S brand new Dyna S fairing painted, custom painted to match the custom painted front fender, custom painted the tank, custom painted on the rear fender, the struts, and the air filter are all painted. Uh, to match. It um, has a brand new set of uh, Dyna S badges, which is, I love that look, the black and gold. And it's got the dark custom Harley Davidson uh, tank. Take a look at this, Kenny. The Harley Davidson tank, gas tank cover, number one on there. And it has a matching derby cover on the other side. Uh, custom grips, these are metal grips. Uh, uh, new black levers, matching black mirrors, brand new master cylinder. A set of custom Harley Davidson fat bars on six inch risers. Uh, straight pullback bars with about a six inch pullback on the handlebars themselves. So when you sit on the bike, the bars are exactly where you want them. Uh, these are the, the standard forward control, probably the forward controls with brand new custom uh, levers and shifter uh, and also a brake lever on there. So um, again, the dark custom derby cover on this side, uh, custom horn cover painted black to match. Um, has a brand new top of the line Yuasa battery with a battery tender lead. This is a plug it into the uh, wall if you're going to park it for a couple of months over the winter. Um, new belt cover, uh, matching black mag on the back, uh, Harley Davidson shocks, um, Harley Davidson struts, Harley Davidson had a couple of raindrops on it. Well, we, it's a little bit of kind of a crappy day to do a demo ride today because it's so cold out. It's only in the mid 30s and uh, a little overcast and a little draining, uh, drizzling up. But um, engine's all black, Harley Davidson wrinkled black. This is one badass Harley, uh, sure to turn heads wherever you go. Um, the bike's been completely gone through by Lance Merton, our certified Harley Davidson tech here, on site at Kaplan Cycles. We're actually on site at the Newman Motorcycle Museum. So on this side of the bike, you see it has the Vance and Hines custom exhaust. Uh, these are the um, short shots, turn downs, I think is what they call them. Um, it also has the, the uh, dark customs cam cover to match the wrinkled black engine, the matching cap and derby cover on the other side. A couple of raindrops on it. Um, black battery cover, uh, fully blacked out frame. Um, frame's in perfect shape on the bike. Uh, tires are 90% tread, brakes, everything's been gone through on the bike. Um, the bike, we purchased this bike from the International Auto Auctions. Uh, let's see, what was the date that we purchased it? We purchased it, it was, um, Let's see, July 20th, 2017. We just finished the bike, so it took us almost six months. Uh, we took it right down to the frame, took the whole front end off, the back end, the tank. We sent the tins out, had them custom painted, ordered all the parts. I've got a, uh, we bought it from the, again, from the International Auto Auction, um, and the uh, actual cash value of the bike was 12247 They estimated the cost of the repairs needed. Here's a picture of the bike. It needed um, gas tank, handlebars, uh, exhaust system um, and a bunch of other cosmetic components and I, I looked at it like wow here's an opportunity to buy this bike and change all the parts that I would change to make it one badass custom without spending thirty thousand dollars twenty five thirty thousand dollars because a stock new Dyna is going to set you back fifteen to seventeen thousand dollars depending on the model you buy and then by the time you add on thousands and extras it's easy to top twenty grand so I said let's buy this bike and build it exactly the way I would for myself um, so we, we bought it we started picking away at it uh, they had estimated the cost to repair at $8,544. They were a little on the low side. We spent $8,753. So you've got nine grand of uh, 
work and custom paint and custom auctions that are put on this bike, it's ready to go. It needs nothing. Take it, you could ride this in cross country tomorrow. So um, when we bought the bike, you'll get this piece of paper here. This is the actual uh, uh, terms and conditions. Uh, was purchased from Long Island. Here's the actual sheet that, of what we had invested into the bike. Um, the total was $12,753. Uh, that's parts and labor. And then I've got the actual receipt for the bike itself. It was 4068 and we had put $8,753 into it to, to make it this custom badass ride that you see in front of you. Uh, so you will actually, you know, we're not hiding anything. It's exactly what we paid for. It was $4,068. And we have a, uh, we actually have the salvage certificate that comes with it, plus the bill of sale from us. You take that and this parts list to your DAV, get them inspected, and they'll issue a new title, a salvage title. So um, there's a four-page parts list that you'll get with the bike, um, starting with the wheel assembly uh, and the bearings and the sleeves and the uh, belt guard, uh, the spacer for the belt guard, the lock, the grommet, uh, the screw for the button head, uh, the, the, the custom horn that's on it, along with the horn bracket, the nut, the, the hex nut, and the jam nut, uh, brand new 18 inch brake line on the front, brand new banjo fittings, brand new brake teeth fitting, brand new brake fluid, and a 19 inch CMB tube and rim strip to go on the brand new rim. That, that page was $932, that's page one. Here's page two, page three, and page four. So bear with me, I'll go through everything we did to the bike. Brand new battery, top of the line, you want some battery. Brand new uh, custom timing cover, brand new fairing bracket lower, brand new custom derby cover, some uh, new screws and grommets and washers, and anything that was not perfect was replaced. The brand new front fairing. This is a Dyna S front fairing. It's a Harley Davidson component. It's not a Chinese component. That was two hundred dollars, one hundred ninety-one actually, plus tax. Uh, brand new five and three-quarter inch headlight. So you got a brand new headlight on it. Um, brand new steering stem bearings. Brand new cap. A new slider rebuild kit for forty-nine millimeter forks. Brand new air filter. Brand new turn signals, uh, that page was $860. Um, the margin on the parts between retail and our actual cost isn't that much. I've got that written down on the other form here that, I, that I'll show you. This, this form here shows the, uh, the actual retail parts total was $4,548 at retail. Our cost was $3,787. So it's less than a $1,000 markup. The parts is only like 20% margin, there's not a lot in it. But full disclosure on exactly what we have into the white. Brand new oil filter, brand new synthetic oil, brand new transmission oil, brand new primary oil, uh, brand new gas cap, brand new side mount plate, brand new clutch cable, brand new steering stem, uh, brand new mirrors, a set of black mirrors, banjo bolts, 21 inch brake line, and 18 inch brake line. Um, again, the air filter, the flare union, and the turn signal mounting kit. That page is $530. So here's the last page, bear with me. Um, the, uh, uh, I forgot to mention the battery is a Yuasa YTX 20 HL top of the line Yuasa battery. Uh, brand new lever set, black, you see the custom levers that are on here. Brand new uh, amber turn signals on the front, brand new red turn signals in the back. Brand new fairing bracket, um, triple clamp, fuel, brand new fuel gauge, uh, fairing, inner, that's this piece right here, check this out. Uh, I'll try to focus for a second, Kenny. This, um, that fairing, uh, that, that inner fairing inner right there is, um, Actually, just a blank piece from Harley Davidson. You could easily put a um, a clock in there, or a radar detector, or something. Has a cool spot you could mount something in there. Um, the uh, let's see, uh, fuel cap cover, which is the number one dark custom cover. The battery strap, um, brand new handlebar risers, is the six inch handlebars, and the, the twin medallions, and the handlebar clamp. So that's it for the four page list. Sorry to bore you with the details. You'll get a copy of this when you pick up the bike, or we can ship it to you before you grab the bike. So again, you'll get a uh, notarized bill of sale from our licensed dealership. You'll get the salvage certificate, then just bring it down and get it spent. Here's a chance to buy a fifteen to um, fifteen thousand dollar retail value bike for uh, a fraction of that. Um, this is a labor of love when we do these bikes. Again, it took me six months to do it. We're not going to make any money on this bike. We're, we're barely going to break even. So. Uh, the reserve is going to be set at our actual investment into the bike. So, and it doesn't include my time. I went to Long Island to buy it, and uh, the ship, I drove it back myself in my trailer. And it's a lot of work picking up all the accessories, but it's what I love to do. I love Dynas. This is a fantastic bike to ride. Uh, in my opinion, the best frame Harley Davidson's ever made, besides the FXR, and those are those have been obsolete or uh, unavailable from Harley since what 19, 1993. They they stopped making them. They did a limited run in '99, so 20 years. So. FXR is a great bike, but this is until you're in a dyno with a six-speed transmission. You don't know what the modern Harleys are capable of. They're a lot of fun. So 
Good luck being around the bike. If you have any questions, give us a call. 860-474-7024. They'll get the work order with the $8,700 worth of work that was done to the bike, the bill of sale, everything you need um, to ride this bad boy off into the sunset. So I'm going to put her back in the showroom for the people to drool on while it's still here. And uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. 860-454-7024. Good luck getting on this bike. God bless America.